Hey guys, it's your girl Fit Sid, and I am back with another video. So we're just gonna start the video off here. If you guys are new to my channel, I hope you enjoy. If you guys are OGs, hi, welcome back. I know it's been a hot minute, but today we're gonna be answering your questions. So with that being said, it's it's been a while. So I'm really excited to just like chit chat with you guys and just make some awesome content and like actually answer questions and you know, let's do this. So I asked you guys on Instagram. If you guys aren't on my Instagram, you can follow me here. Um, and my other socials will be right here. But I asked you guys on Instagram and I got a decent amount of replies. I'm not going to swipe it because right now Instagram's having this weird glitch where it like goes away and it, like, yeah, like super weird. It like randomly did that on its own. So let's start with like a basic question and then we'll get into the nitty gritty. Just so you guys know, as a disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes only. I'm not trying to convince anyone to get into the industry. This is just for educational purposes and to answer your guys' questions. Okay, so the first question is, how did you get in the industry? I actually have a whole video on this, but basically, I got out of a relationship and I started working as a bikini barista and then I really needed more money because I had just gotten kicked out and um, my car that I was driving, which was a 1997 Mercury Villager, it was like the AC was out and it was catching on fire on the side of the road like all the time like it, I think it caught fire like three times in like a couple of months which for your car to catch fire that's like pretty uh like it would always go out because I would like see the steam and the smoke above the hood like coming out of the hood so like I would always pull over and it, like you know it never caught fully on fire but it was definitely on fire so that's the reason why I got in because I wanted money and I really honestly like I just need to be able to pay for my school my medical bills and being able to be like on my own um I don't like depending on other people and I really needed something that like was gonna be comfortable for me and that is something that I've everyone said once I got in the industry they were like you were meant to do this <laughs> and I'm just a very uh person so we're gonna get into the rest of the questions now. All right, so next question. Would you consider yourself a porn star? So personally for me, I would consider myself a lot of things. Technically I would consider my, there's Toasty. Technically I would consider myself a porn star, but at the same time I wouldn't because I don't really do mainstream stuff. Like I currently, in the future might, but like everything currently is on OnlyFans and Model Hub and many vids. So if you guys want to see some of my stuff, you go there. Um, but like, I've definitely had a lot of companies reach out to me and everyone kind of talks about me as a porn star, but like for myself, I would just say that I'm like a mattress actress, you know? <laughs> Next question, is the pay good? And then there's another question that was like really similar, which was saying, do you get paid per video or do you get paid annually? So first of all, you do not get paid annually. Um, most people that are in the industry get paid per video and they just get paid like a specific rate. For me personally, like I don't get paid when I make a video. I just, if hopefully if my fans buy it, um, then I get paid. So like for me personally, like I don't know if you guys are gonna like a video and buy it or if it's just gonna completely flop and then like the time and energy and like whatever money I put in for my like outfits and stuff, and paying like a camera person and maybe like I usually don't like film stuff here like I film some stuff but not a lot here like whatever money I put into that video I don't know for myself if I'm gonna make the money back and a lot of people they would rather just have the money instantly for me personally like I would much rather have control of the video and like where it goes but um most people get paid instantly I don't I just have to like hope that it's gonna get paid like someone's gonna want it and then like other people are gonna want it um, so, and no one really gets paid annually. Um, and the pay being good, honestly, like, it's like a normal job. It just depends on how many hours you put in. Like, for me personally, like, I work probably 80 hours a week. And I had not had a vacation until I went to Hawaii recently. And even in Hawaii, I was still working because I need to be able to pay for the trip. So, I mean, like, I think it, the pay can be really good. It just depends on, like, what you're doing um, in the industry and I really want to get into that in a separate video because I think people think we're like rolling in money But that's not usually the case Next question is how can we join FitSid Studios? So FitSid Studios is a production company that I have and if you're wanting to be part of that or like film some content for it um, You can just reach out to me at my email, which I'll always have in the description box, but 
like I don't promote it very hard because a lot of the time I reach out to people and say like hey do you want to shoot for my studio it's still a baby studio but my goal is to be able to help other people and like make amazing content and just have fun with it um but you can always reach out to my email I personally usually don't work with people unless I know they're serious about it so if you're just messing around and you're wanting to have fun like that's not really like why I joined I don't want to waste my time um, filming with people that are like not serious about it so next question is how do you get tested and is it free or how does it work and how often so the answer to that is number one I get tested at least every other week so I'm tested at least twice a month um, and I get a full gold panel so I get tested through talent testing for those of you that are curious, that is an industry standard to be in pass. And pass is just a way, like a, a way for everyone to make sure that no one has anything um, and you have to show your results before you're filming. So I pay like $265 every time I get a test. Um, in different places, it, it costs different, but like in Arizona, it's like $265 for the, the lab that I go to. All right, so the next question is can you have with people out of the industry or only within the industry so this is actually like a huge debate personally for me this is what I do I'm not gonna talk about what other people do personally for me I choose to only work and be with people now that I'm actually filming with other people because when I started it was solo so I didn't have to worry about like always having a fresh test and like having one that was like up to date if I had a new partner or anything like that but like because I get tested twice a month at least um this month is actually three month three tests because of how it all works out but if you are choosing to be in the industry you are choosing to do two separate things first thing when you're in the industry like you are choosing to number one you need to respect the talent that you're working with and number two, the talent that you're working with, you don't know what they're doing outside of it. So for me personally, like that's my mentality is I don't work with people unless I know that my test is good. And that's my own personal thing. Like I don't work with people and I don't like outside of the industry. The only people that I am with are people that are tested. So and like usually it's wrapped. So if that makes sense, like you just got to like figure out the risk that you want because the risk is you could always get something and then not be able to shoot for like a week because or two weeks actually because the first week you have to find out about it and the second week you have to get like medication for it to treat it so that's like two weeks worth of a failed test that you were positive on a result like I just wouldn't want that so to answer your question personally for me I don't mess with other people outside of the industry like I always want everyone to be tested and wrapped if possible you know like in the industry we don't really film um like that so like in the personal world if I am gonna choose to do that I would make them wrap it and get tested that way I'm safe but either way you always accept a risk because no matter what you are doing something that is like putting other germs near your your world you know <laughs> next question this is actually a really good one do you choose who you make content with so and then there was another question that was really similar that was like do you get to pick or does the company pick so for me personally I actually film all my content with people that I really like to film with like every single person that I have filmed with has been someone that I think is like slightly attractive or you know we just have fun and like we have good chemistry um I personally get to pick if you're filming a scene for a company that's like Brazzers or Reality Kings or anything like that, that's when you don't get to pick. Like they, they pick it for you. But if you're making your own content and you're selling it like I do, then you get to pick who you work with. And you get to kind of like figure out what you're into. And like I've been able to explore a lot of things. So it's been kind of cool, you know? Do you ever branch out into the public to make content or is it all in-house? Personally for me, all of the content that I make I produce, edit, do all that shebang within myself and my peeps. But um, if like you're shooting a mainstream thing for like browsers or something, then obviously like you would have their camera person, um, their editors, and they would post it themselves. But the stuff that I post, I do myself, and I have my friends help me with. So. 
All right, so this is actually a really good question. This is, has it had any effect on your personal life, such as family and friends? Do you feel bad in any way after doing a video with a person you don't really know for money? So that's two questions right there. First question is about the family and friends. And I can tell you right now, like when I started over, oh gosh, I started in August of 2018. It's, all, it's like been a year and a half of doing this. I can tell you right now that the friends that left my life I have no ill will towards but they just weren't the right people in my life um they couldn't see past like what i did as a job and for me personally like i'm glad that the universe took them out of my life and that i chose this job because there were so many people that stepped up to the plate as my friends and showed that they truly cared and they saw me as who i am as a person and they knew me for a lot more than just like the way that I make my paycheck and like they know who I really am deep down and I think that that's like one of the biggest things that people do not understand is like you don't change as a person everyone has sex I think we forget that I think we all need to like take a step back and understand that like to make you your parents had sex to have you so when when people act like it's such a taboo thing, we all, I, I have a feeling, besides my mother, you guys, my mother actually didn't know what Pornhub looked like, so she really probably has never seen porn in all honesty, but like, most people watch porn, and then they look down upon the people that make it, even though they're the ones consuming it and watching it and keeping this industry going. For me, it didn't really affect my life very much because the people who really matter to me and like the people who see me for who I am and that I want in my life, have stuck by me and have never made me feel like I'm less of anything for doing what I do. Now the second part of that question, do you feel bad in any way after doing a video with a person you don't really know for money? Personally for me, I don't feel bad. Um, my first shoots that I ever like did, they were very exciting for me. It was different. Um, I feel like a lot of people, like we all know hookup culture. And I feel like it feels about the same, except it's a little bit more professional and like people are like a lot more open-minded. So we always talk about like hard nose and it's honestly not that hard because like I personally feel like this is like an enjoyable thing and I've always been a person. So when it comes to this, <laughs> like this isn't hard for me. Like this is something that like a lot of people do. Like most people that I've talked to that are like my friends in my personal life, not every single one, but a lot of them they have a higher body count than you would expect and that doesn't change how they are as a person but like sometimes they have more sex than i do and i definitely don't have a lot of like personal sex a lot of the time like most of the time i just film it because that's fun but i don't really feel bad about it i feel like it feels like a hookup it feels like hookup culture just like when you hook up with someone at a party um i honestly got into this at a pretty young age but all my friends that do the same thing, I feel like they feel the same way that I do when I film this stuff. But there's a lot of things that I genuinely enjoy when I film, so I feel like it just depends on your mood, you know? Like, as long as you go into it with a good mood, like, you actually enjoy it and it's fun. And I don't feel bad about it. Next question is, do you really want to stay in this industry? Honestly, for me, I've been in the makeup industry, fitness, and then this industry, which is adult. I have never felt more myself, more welcomed, and... It, and like just people are less judgmental like when I was in fitness everyone was always so mean about my body and made me feel like I was less of because I was not a size 2 when I was in makeup it was different but similar um, I just wasn't meant for that industry now this one I feel like it's very inclusive I feel like you're gonna have the same problems you have in any industry you know but no one makes me feel bad for being me and that's one of the reasons why I definitely want to stay in it. And even if I have kids, my plan and my goal is to stay in it in some way, whether it's helping younger girls that are getting in, not go down the path of being addicted to things and, you know, just like keep taking care of themselves and protecting themselves because our bodies are still a temple when you work in this industry. Like it can be a, whatever kind of temple you want, whatever religion you want, you know, whatever you want to do with it, but just doing things that never make you feel like you've crossed a boundary because that is like the biggest importance you know so like when i do get older and i have kids i really do want to stay in the industry and just be able to like help others and show them how to make smart decisions um and just show them that they always have someone there because i feel like this is the industry where you either are meant for it and you thrive or you're meant for it but you make 
a turn that causes you like a lot of pain and you might not have supportive people in your life. So that's kind of my game plan. All right, last question. This is actually like a pretty big one. This one just came in two minutes ago. It says the side no one talks about, your mental health. So for me personally, I have struggled really hard with two types of health, like physical health and mental health. And um, mental health has been like honestly, like the, the the both of them go in together, I guess. Taking care of myself physically, this is this job has made me realize so many things about my body that I didn't know. I know what a lot of things look like. I know signs for things when I'm working with other people to look for, which has given me so much education. Um, and just like experiences that my friends have taught me on how to cope with certain things. So like when you shoot a lot, you have to take care of yourself. You have to give yourself that self-love and self-care. And that goes for physical and mental and I feel like this industry is one of the biggest ones where they actually care a lot of people struggle with anxiety and depression in this world and it's not taboo to talk about when you're in this industry and I feel like that's an amazing thing for me I've realized that I do struggle with like anxiety and depression and just like normal things but I don't have it to where it's like extremely severe you know it's just like learning how to cope with the highs and the lows and knowing that there's other people that are open to talk about it and not just like sweep under the rug and say just get better like it'll be okay so for me i feel like it's been an amazing experience i feel like i've actually been able to like take my mental health into my own hands and learn new coping mechanisms and this year for 2020 i am putting myself first and i'm going to start working more on my health and getting to the gym and taking time for that and yoga and meditation really helped me with my mental health and like with this type of industry like you are extremely busy shooting if you actually want to make money or camming or whatever you choose to do but if you're always doing stuff you can carve out time just like any job i love being able to create my own schedule so that then i can have time to do those things because last year was a really big learning curve for me this year i know that like the things that i need to do are like deep breathing like things like that really help overall but with that being said that is all for this video that was my last question I just wanted to end it on there I feel like your mental health just to like cap that off I feel like your mental health is really important and I feel like a lot of people struggle with it um, no matter what industry you're in and it just happens to be one where people actually talk about it and I love that so with that being said those are the questions I'm going to answer this time. If I see any other good ones, I might sit down and film another version of this. If you have any more questions, put them down below. Just so you know, I love you. You're important and you're intelligent and you're beautiful or handsome. But just know that the universe is conspiring for your happiness. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, babes.